or if he has already said it prior to that he's not get having dogs is, is annoying anyways if he had told me seriously the building as you guys have seen from the title and the thumbnail today's video is going to be a relationship question and answer okay i know i'm not in a relationship but that doesn't mean i can't still answer these questions okay i got these questions from my church in school so the questions we use for our valentine's service so without further ado let's get right into this video but before we do that we recently hit 300 subscribers and i also appreciate every single one of you for subscribing to my channel i really really love you guys so much i see i kid you not like i might not know every single one of you but like i still love you and you guys have like a like a huge part of my heart which the heart is wrong so i think it has it yeah you guys have you guys should have a huge part of my heart so yeah i want to just go ahead and do this video Leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and turn on your post notifications so you can be notified every time I drop a banger, okay? So let's go. Okay, so the first question, you guys, I don't know if I'm going to put it on screen, I don't think so, because like, yeah, so nobody knows anybody's handwriting and stuff like that. But the first one says, <laughs> yo, people are like, whatever. So the first one says, why am I single? I want to get into a relationship badly. First of all, this has to be a joke because, like, seriously, nah, this has to this this has to be a joke. But like, if you if it's actually real, if the person really really is actually in in desperate need of relationship, I feel like no, you shouldn't get into a relationship. We just kind of mentality that oh, because everybody is in a relationship, or like oh, you don't want to be single when everybody else is in a relationship, so you want to get into a relationship. Or more, I'm going to destroy. You want to destroy the person you're in a relationship with? I think this should be. This might be a guy, cause guys, I this is sure this is a joke. I'm not going to answer this question, cause like it's obviously a joke. Like seriously, why am I single? I need to get to the relationship. What? How? Yo, people be. This is a joke. It has to be. Okay, so the next question says, my girlfriend didn't get me anything yesterday. Should I be mad? Okay, now the yesterday the person is referring to is Valentine's Day. And being all, like, let's be like actually real, 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 okay? I would be mad. <laughs> I would actually be mad if I did get her, him something. So if if I was like the girl now, let me say I'm a girl, and I got my boyfriend something for Valentine's Day and he didn't get me nothing, I would actually be a little bit pissed off. Let me not lie. Let's be real. Like let's be hundred percent. I would actually be a little bit mad at him because it's like except it's in like we, i know that okay right now he's not in a place to get me anything like he's not financially like able to get me something yeah then i would not be mad he had told me prior to this time that oh um valentine's day like oh if we had this call okay so it's like this if y'all have this course like oh i don't celebrate valentine's day like i will get you something every other time but like that valentine's day thing that oh you must get me something like i don't do it then i feel like you shouldn't tell him that he must now get you something you get me so yeah i feel it's i would be mad like let us be really honest right now i would actually be mad so you guys like if you you just have to talk to him and be like yo so like what happened yes if you guys have not had a prior conversation and he just didn't like he ignored you or he didn't speak about it then you can just be like oh this is how i'm feeling about what happened yesterday like you didn't say anything like nothing so it's like then you guys have a conversation so that's what i think okay so this one says is it advisable or good for a girl to date a guy that has a girl best friend and vice versa? Personally, I have a male best friend and I have had relationships where I've had a male best friend. So I would say it's fine if you know that or if you guys have discussed that if the thing is um people people some people say this thing like they're like oh is it like you guys can't just be best friends there's something going on you all have friends with benefits or um one person has feelings like in my business in me and my best friend's situation at least from my side though from where i am like i can't speak for him but like from my side there's no there's no relation there's no feelings there there's no we don't do shit like at all 
like yo i don't i barely even hug him do you get me so like i would be fine dating a guy that has a female best friend even if eh, i might get kind of if like you're spending too much time with her like nigga what the fuck then i would obviously get kind of jealous but like i wouldn't have a problem with dating someone so i feel like if you like you should talk to the person first like yo do you guys have any history like is there anything there or that was there do you get me so then it's fine but like personally i don't have an issue with it so um okay so another one says if you are about to get married and your husband wants you to have a baby be pregnant in school is it okay you're about to get married and you're in school and your husband wants you to get married excuse me sorry is your husband in school or he's graduated does he know that you would probably have to stop school because you're pregnant or when you give birth if you're in my school sorry, uh, my school you would probably even get expelled for getting pregnant as a student except you already married when you came in and i think there's even i don't think it's possible for like if you were married when you came in i don't think you're allowed to even be pregnant first of all so you have to think twice about marrying this person because nigga wants you to get pregnant while in school that is practically say stop no school for you go and have babies why can't you wait for me to get done like why can't you fucking wait for me to get done like how long does it take four years why not even married yet like if she say if we're about to get married so we're not even married and you're telling me that oh i should basically stop my education that means you're going to be controlling me when i'm married now nah, nigga no 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 we're not about to do that so no sis no you're going to tell him that you're not doing that you're going to lay your like step your foot down like nigga i'm not doing that okay so yeah that's that's basically my thoughts on that the next question says how do you cope with the pressure of being single when everyone around you is in a relationship okay so <laughs> it's like the person was asking me this question <laughs> okay so because everybody is in a relationship doesn't mean you should get a relationship i guess the the longing like when you see everybody being all cozy up with their boo and their thing and all of that and then you're just there like single <laughs> it's like it, it, there's a way it feels you, you kind of feel jealous like you really just want to and then it, it just makes you want to jump into relationships I've had, I've had situations like that where it's like oh i start talking to people based um, just because like talking stage or not like relationship that would be actually really bad but like start talking to people just because oh everybody around me is in a relationship like this like this see guy <laughs> i don't know how you want to do it but you have to like not be so bothered about it like you can't just get into a relationship because everybody else is in a relationship to be very honest because you're just going to end like i said in the, for, for that first question you're going to end up hurting the person you're with because you're not actually into the relationship because you want to be in the relationship you're in the relationship because you don't want to be lonely if you're not okay with okay now it's like this if you're not okay with being by yourself or not being in a relationship what are you doing like i've, I've taken i've said that i'm not doing anything self-love before anything else <clears throat> if i can't be by myself then it's a big problem like if i feel like oh if i'm just if i'm single it's a problem like, i can't be single oh my god i have to be with somebody i have to be have somebody that called be like i have to have somebody that is, is nobody saves as my husband did they give that to you with the oh my god see self-love you have to let's see you have to tell yourself that no we're not gonna do this you're going to get into a situation it could get yourself in a position where you're like, okay with with being by yourself here yeah? copy like see get things you do like if your friend says oh i'm going to see my but i'm going to docker's this night go to another of your friends or hostel if your roommates all of them are going to docker's she you know her friends are going to docker's you know there's no how you know her friends are going to docker's go and just like see don't be every time but maybe when your friends are with their boyfriends you're just no do things that like you have friends like you don't have to always be in a relationship seriously like that mentality is old as fuck and people really need to get o over that mentality of oh my god i have to be in a relationship you don't have to be in nothing i like, see even if you don't want to get married in this life it is fine it is absolutely fine y'all so yeah that's my thoughts on that like i don't know how you're going to cope with it but like just try to find things that you do that like just takes your mind off it yeah oh my god see I don't know it's just preference you can't really it's not all guys that like it because there are still slim girls that have men so you can't really say all guys like thick girls so next question is how do 
how do you know someone is the one? Oh wow. Now yeah, they don't catch me because I know the relationship, but I feel like you would know. I feel like you would know from like the way you, you feel when you're around the person. I feel like you would just know that this is like the person. Cause okay now there's like okay. You know there's friendship soulmates and then there's just like there's your normal married like someone that's going to marry soulmates. So I've met a lot of friendship soulmates, like like people that are like I'm like bro, like this quarantine. I've met a lot of people that have been that, that are like my soulmates or like friends soulmates. I don't know if you all get me. So like once you start talking to the person, you would know. It's not like oh once you see the person, like all those werewolf books that they just see each other and yeah, once the eyes meet like this. I mean, once your eyes meet, I'm just like, you know, like my soulmate, and they will touch and they will be like, season. Oh my no day, you will see you. <laughs> You will shall know. I, I don't I don't know how to explain it, but you would know. Like from conversation to the person, you say the person matches your vibes, the person matches your um your morals, the person matches your goals, the person has similar taste with you. Not like that, oh you could like this. If I like a pineapple on pizza, he must like pineapple on pizza. No, it's not I don't think I've never said that before. But like yeah <laughs> you will shall just know that okay, this person has to like either be the one and then obviously when you start having that feeling you pray and then get god involved and then see you will see you will know like you will just know that's all i have to say like you will know oh more girls they don't appreciate it so why do girls ask for things they cannot afford you want me to spend the money your daddy can spend on you see if you have a babe that wants you to spend money that she cannot spend on herself my, my dear brother break up with that if she has that money and she would not spend it on herself and she'd be expecting you to buy her a Birkin bag break up with that bitch like right now because like says what? no we, see girls you need to do better like for reals like we don't need these niggas like secure your bag and get yourself the fucking Birkin like personally I would buy the thing for myself like bro you the Chris <laughs> we saw that one more boy will not come and meet me and tell me one day that it's not me that bought you everything you are wearing and embarrassed me hey Mike ah I reject it. Nope, can't happen. So no, I don't know why some girls do that. I just feel like we should do better. I personally don't even take things from guys. First of all, like you see, like things that are like, oh, I know that, oh, me, I cannot buy it with my own money. You can't buy me a, a phone. I'm not trying to show anybody your boss. A boy should buy me a phone. I can't fucking take it. And my daddy, is, my daddy can buy it for me. Don't fucking play with me. Like if I want a new phone, I would fucking ask my dad. I would fucking say for it. Like see. You can't, so that somebody will not smash my phone on the floor and tell me that, oh, I bought it, I can break it. That's how I had one story like that in my school. Never in my life will a man embarrass me like that because he bought me something. Hey! I can't embarrass my family like that. No! If I'm desperately in need of something, I will need that and beg my father to buy it for me that, rather than to, eh? It can't be me. But I don't know why some girls do that. I, I totally left the question, but I don't know why some girls do that, but... You need to do better, sis. Like sis, sisters, sisters. <laughs> okay, they said is is there a specific age to start kissing because it is not specified in the Bible like every other one. Um, <laughs> sis or bro. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think there's there's no specific age, but I feel like you should be mature enough. So about sixteen to eighteen, somewhere between somewhere between sixteen and eighteen should be fine when you are i feel like you, you by 16 everybody should be mature enough um so i feel like 16 to 18 is fine which i i'm not saying that that's what is in the bible though. i'm just saying that yeah if you're someone that wants to do it like wait until you're 16 at least wait to, at least wait until you're 16 what the fuck are you kissing for when you're 13 or 14 what are you like do you bro at least once you're 16, most people enter the university once they're 16, so like, yeah, it's fine. Once you're 16, between 16 to 18, it should be fine to do that. So.